Hello everyone. Thanks for coming back to watch my review of this new purchase that I have. It's a leather pebble handbag made by Vince Camuto. It's called the Ding Bag. I haven't been able to see a lot of videos online except for examples, so I want to kind of give you my perspective on the bag. To be honest with you, I actually have not used the bag. I purchased it a few months ago, right at the end of um, spring. And because of the color, which by the way, is called deep sea, I kind of equate darker colors for fall and winter bags. And so because of that, I haven't used it yet. So this is going to be a review. And then in a few months after I utilize the bag, I'll come back and share with you the functionality of the bag and you know, the performance of the bag and to let you know what my thoughts are on it. So again, the bag is called a Dean bag. It's a really soft, leather bag, the soft pebble leather, and it's more of a hobo type style bags. And uh, it's not a structured bag, so if I were to sit it down, it's gonna fall over. If I do have it loaded with um, with items, it does have a, it, it creates a base in it, which allows it to be able to stand up. The bag itself is 13 and a half inches wide, nine and a half inches um, high or tall, and then it's, um, when it's completely unzipped. Uh, it's five and a quarter inches deep. Now, when I measured the bag um, for the height, it came in a little bit more, almost like 10 and a quarter inches um, than nine and a half as is displayed on Macy's website. It's a really nice bag. It has these uh, two handles here that are four inches long and it has a 17 inch drop strap, which you can use as a crossbody. Um, I'm five, in, uh, five inches, five feet, four inches tall, and when I'm wearing the bag, it, well, I put it on, it falls here on me. When I made the adjustments as tight as I could, I am able to get it to go up a little bit higher, but no more than that. So if I'm walking, it's gonna fall on me about right here. There is um, some silver metal, um, on the bag. Uh, something that I thought was really nice on the bag is that um, on the side uh, zippers as well as these uh, fasteners, uh, Vince Camuto has engraved his name, which I think is a nice touch for the bag. There is one exterior pocket, which is hidden by this flap here with a metal zipper. And in the interior of the bag, there is one zipper pocket. Um, and on the flip side of the bag, there are two slip pockets, and I'll show you um, that close up in a minute. For uh, functionality and to kind of give you a perspective of what you can fit in the bag, something that I like to do, and I kind of over exaggerate it, but just so you can kind of see what can fit inside, I have this box of <laughs> club crackers, which you're able to put inside of the bag um, quite nicely. It fits. Um, I have here my wallet. I have this coin purse, and I have like a pencil case to sort of make a bag. And I'm able to, you know, if I wanted to squeeze something else on the inside, I very well could. Um, it would make it fat and a little bit heavier, but I could. So those fit nicely. And I can get those in the bag when the bag is unzipped from the bottom. When I tried to do this earlier, I wasn't able to zip the bag when the items were inside the bag. But once I put the items in the bag, um, out and the bag was zipped on the bottom, I was able to do it. So let's see. So if I were to close this up, with the zipper, it does close. So hopefully I said that correctly because <laughs> I wanted to try this out a few times. So earlier today, let me make sure I say this right again. Um, when I had the zipper closed and the bag was empty, I added items to it, these same items, and I was unable to zip the bag that way. But when I'm putting the items in, I'm able to zip it. Uh, I don't understand, but it works. Anyway, um, and the bag is not very heavy at all. It's really nice. Uh, one thing that always concerns me when uh, accessories have metal zippers on them is that they'll snag your clothes. And this, this um, I've tried it on different materials. 
the metal zippers here did not catch at all, which I'm really happy about because I would be a little nervous wearing something that was delicate and that it would kind of snag and it didn't do that. So I'm going to unload this and then I'll bring the bag a little closer for you to see the interior and to show you the pockets. Uh, the bag did come with, which I didn't share yet, but it did come with a standard dust bag. Um, it's kind of thin, but it's still a dust bag nonetheless. So I'll bring it a little bit closer to let you see um, the pockets in the interior. So again, the purse on the exterior has a really nice um, exterior pocket that has this metal zipper. I'm able to take my Note 5 phone and I can actually put it on the inside of the bag quite easily on the side. Sorry, I'm kind of fumbling around with that. Um, it fits in there and there is some space still on the inside. If I were to stand the phone up, I, I, could, I could zip it if I needed to. Uh, and it's still a little bit more room in there. I actually can still fit my change purse in the inside of there, so that's nice. On the interior of the bag, it's not lined with leather, but the um, interior zip pocket uh, does have a leather pull. There is no uh, key holder, a key fob holder inside the bag. Um, the interior pocket is, uh, the zip pocket is a plastic zipper, which I don't like. Although, in all of my years, I've never zipped the pocket, the pocket inside of my handbags. It doesn't matter, but um, I just wish that it was a metal zipper. Anyway, so there's this zipper pocket here. I can slip my phone quite nicely on the inside with lots of room to spare. If I were to stand the phone up, um, it would be a tight zip. Um, I could probably force it if I had to, but I probably wouldn't want to with that uh, plastic zipper. There is no slip pocket on the side where the zipper pocket is, but on the opposite side of the bag, there are two slip pockets. So it's this one here where you actually can stand your phone up that way, and it's about the width of my phone. And the other side, there is a smaller zipper pocket, I mean, uh, sorry, a smaller um, slip uh, pocket here in the front that um, is a little bit narrower, so I couldn't use that to put my phone in. The nylon fabric here in the bag is uh, quite hefty. It's not thin at all. It sort of reminds me of a umbrella or a, um, a raincoat type material. It doesn't feel like it's going to tear or snag or fray or anything like that. It feels pretty solid. It's a, um, overall, I think it's a very nice bag. Again, like I said, it's slouchy. It has the nice um, metal, silver metal hardware. Again, I thought it was very nice, a nice touch that um, Vince has engraved his name on the side zippers of the bag as well as on these fasteners. It's a really nice bag. Um, I bought this bag a few months ago again from Macy's um, and I got it on sale at a really good time of the year um, to buy handbags as well as some other times. And usually at the end of the season or beginning of the season, you really can get some good deals. And I think I paid uh, maybe almost $200, which was a, a good deal because it was on sale and I was able to use some type of coupon. Uh, so the bags are still on sale at the stores. Again, I love Macy's. I buy a lot of my handbags from Macy's. Um, they deliver quickly and there's typically no shipping charges. Um, and you have up to 90 days to return items if you needed to. Again, um, thank you for watching. This is my Vince Camuto Dean bag in the color Deep Sea. It's a really nice pebble leather bag that I hope that you enjoy the review and possibly go out and get one yourself. If you like, please like the video as well as subscribe and hopefully I'll be uploading more videos really soon. Thanks again for your time and watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.